This is a single phase uh, breaker box from about 1971 that allowed what they called a high leg delta, uh, which was banned in 1978 by the electrical code. But basically, this is a single phase breaker box. It's got two sets of hot lugs, the A and B phase. And if you want to use it as a high leg delta for three phase power, they had a special breaker that went in here that was used and you use the top leg which was 208 volts to ground and you fed this and you had one single uh, breaker that fed like a three phase air conditioner. I'll zoom in on this. So this is a, a 1971 uh, ITE single phase breaker box that has a hot A and a B and it's an oddball thing, it's a regular breaker box, but they had a special breaker at that time that's been banned by the NEC uh, for new installs that fit in here and had an extra uh, wire lug on it that fed the wildcat phase, which comes in here. And that's like that. So these breakers are, you can use them for replacement on an existing system, but you can't use it for a new install. That was banned in 1978. So this is where you have a, it's kind of an oddball configuration, but it goes back to the 1930s with the uh, REA for electrification for farms and things, but allow to have a three phase motor or air conditioner let's say after post-World War II, but in the 30s it was for farm pumps and stuff like that. It allowed you to have three-phase power for generally for one load like a motor or a pump or something or something for a mill and then you also had the single-phase power for the lighting. So it has a lighting circuit here like a normal USA house of 120 volts either side. This is the hot two hot phases. The hot wildcat phase is called a wildcat, a high leg, the bitch phase, the bastard phase, uh, the odd phase, but this is 208 the ground. It's normally not used uh, by itself to a neutral, but you have a very special breaker called a delta breaker that fit in a single phase box that allowed for one single, generally three phase load. Um, that could go off to a three phase panel, but if you did that, normally people put a three-phase panel in anyways. So most configurations, this breaker box, uh, the breaker itself was used for one load, is all the ones I've ever seen. And it's called a delta breaker. Um, it's used in older configurations. Generally it's in houses built before 1978 and small plants. Um, this particular breaker, on some breaker boxes, it takes up just one side. I've seen them for in uh, Square D that actually takes up, uh, this particular breaker takes up four one-inch slots uh, with the standard one-inch width of breakers. On a um, Square D breaker, on a similar type box from this era, it goes across both lugs and it's not using this other side. It's just the box is physically huge. So it takes up six breaker spots that are one inch wide, three in the left, three on the right. But anyways, this is just an ITE panel showing. If you wonder what this means, as a kid I used to see that and wonder what the heck that meant. And so that's for the dreaded uh, high leg system where you got 208 to ground and this has got allows for generally one single one three phase load. Typically in this era, it would area of the country would be used for a five ton air conditioner. Um, but again, on this, there's no. This is a regular single phase box. It has A and B is the hots, which are 120 volts to ground. There's not. On a normal three-phase breaker box, there's a C lug going through here, and you have three hots through. You got A, B, and C, 
In this particular system, they used the Delta Breaker, the winning here, which is totally an oddball thing. There's probably a lot of people have never seen one. Um, they don't know it exists, but if you come upon it, you got to be careful because this other guy is hot 208 to ground. And um, this is a three phase system. Generally, around here, it's used for air conditioning, and you've got this hot wire. Now, the hot wire here that feeds this breaker is kind of odd because it generally comes directly from the electric meter. And there's not, um, it's feeding directly in this breaker is a hot wire. So if you ever had the instance of taking that breaker out, you've got this wire that's unfused that's directly from the electric meter, from the meter base. And if you ever touch that, the frame of the uh, box, you'd have a massive explosion. Same thing with the hot wires over here. The A and B, the wires that feed in those are hot from the meter. But normally in a box, you never, when these are hooked up, uh, unless you're pulling the meter, you never fool with them. In this configuration, you've got a hot wire that feeds this 208 directly to this breaker that's unfused. Um, generally, it's painted orange or white excuse me, orange or red to let you know that it's the high leg delta, but or the wildcat phase, bitch phase, bastard phase, eyeball phase, crazy phase, whatever you want to call it. But it's unfused in the sense that this wire comes directly from the electric meter. Generally, it's a smaller wire, maybe like a six gauge or something like that. And the ones I've seen, it's not a full bore, super fat guy, like on the A and B phases here. But um, these breakers are still available for replacement purposes only. They're usually extremely expensive because they're no longer made anymore. And typically, in an install or retrofit, you eliminate this type of thing. It really is not super dangerous. It's more of a goober factor where people get in there and they don't know what they're doing. And they get hurt. But uh, this breaker here... A Delta breaker. I've seen one or two pop up on eBay every two to three years. It's an oddball thing. But anyways, this is the ITC uh, breaker box. And it's just a regular breaker box like you can get other places. Home Depot, Lowe's, electrical place. But it's just showing the legend of how to hook up a high leg Delta, Delta breaker on the box. Pretty much this, they put that in all the box of that era, probably in the mid 70s and before. This was a popular system in the 50s and 60s in areas where you had to have a three phase air conditioner and it was in a bigger house, say you needed a five ton air conditioner. And sometimes uh, not all air conditioners marketed at that time were in single phase. There were a lot of three phase ones that were more reliable and um, makes for a little bit more better more robust compressor at the time you don't have the start winding in there and that's it